In previous videos, I started to dial in a profile to use in Creality Print Slicer for PLA made by Printed Solid to use on my Ender 3 V3 SE. I've tuned the temperature and I dialed in the flow rate. I'll post the links to those videos in the description. In this video, I'm going to dial in my retraction distance. Setting the right retraction distance will go a long way in getting rid of stringing. Now, retraction doesn't actually pull the material back up into the nozzle. Think of it like a tube of toothpaste. Once that toothpaste is out of the tube, you aren't getting it back in there. But if you stop squeezing the tube, the toothpaste will stop coming out. So with retraction, the extruder is pulling the filament back, but it's to relieve the pressure. Now, if we aren't pulling back enough, the filament will continue to ooze from the nozzle as you move from point to point, that's gonna leave stringing. Pulling it back too far can pull it up into the cool zone of the hot end. When this happens, your filament cools and it hardens and it can cause a clog. If you're lucky, it doesn't clog, but your prints will look under extruded. We need to find that happy spot and luckily for us, it's not hard to do and it doesn't take a lot of time or filament. Okay, I think I rambled on long enough about it, so let's get to it. I'm Bill, and this is Pushing Plastic. So, in my slicer, I've imported this part I downloaded from Thingiverse to test my retraction. It's got four corners on it, and we'll see the stringing from post to post to post. And our job is to eliminate that stringing. So what I'm going to do is first off make sure I'm on the right printer. I'm dialing this filament in for my Ender 3 V3 SE and I'm working on my printed solid PLA. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to select manage, make sure I'm on the right PLA or right filament and I'm going to go to my override settings. And what I'm going to do is enable retraction and the retraction distance. Now right now it's set at 1.2 millimeters. I'm going to change that to zero. And we're going to get some bad results, but we're going to print it anyways because this is our baseline print. Then I will come back and I'll change this to 0.5. And depending on the results, if it's looking real bad, I'll go right up to one. If it's looking pretty good, I might go to fine tuning. I might go to 0.6 or 0.4 and print off another model. So let's see how this works out for us. I'm going to save this. We're going to slice. This is only going to take us nine minutes to print. Well worth those nine minutes. And we'll see how we do. Like I thought, that just looks nasty. But this is our starting point. Let's jump back into Creality Print and make an adjustment and print another one. Well, like expected, that was pretty much a mess. So I'm going to come back to prepare. I'm going to go to manage once again and to my flow rate, I am going to change this to 0.5 millimeters. I'm going to save this. I'm going to re-slice and reprint. Let's see what this looks like. That doesn't look too bad, but I think I can do better. I'm seeing some light strings and some fuzzies up here at the points. I'm going to increase retraction slightly and see how it looks. All right, well, that was pretty close, but I can do a little bit better. Um, is that 0.5? I'm going to try one at 0.6. So again, go to Manage. I'm going to change my retraction distance to 0.6. And I think we'll do a lot better here. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. We'll print, re or re-slice, and then print. And we'll see what we look like. That looks pretty good right here. I'm not seeing any stringing and I'm not seeing any signs of under extrusion. I'm going to use this uh, as my retraction for this profile. This was six millimeters. Now, like I said in the beginning, this wouldn't take us long. It's a total of three prints, nine minutes each, less than half an hour. If you look close at my slicer results, you'll, you'll have noticed it cost us less than one one and a half cents per print for a grand total of a little bit over four cents, less than five cents. It's money well spent in my opinion. I hope you found the information useful. 
If you did, hit that like button and let me know down in the comments. Smash the bell so you'll be alerted to new content in the future. Live your life one layer at a time. And if you haven't done it yet, please consider subscribing.